American Film My Phone and welcome to another video. Today we are watching the Sucreme music video from Pablo Vitar. This is the only music video from the Now Para Now era that I did not watch ahead of time of listening to the album. So I have already heard the song, Sucreme. Love the song a lot. It's probably my favorite single from the album. And I'm just really pumped to watch a music video for it. I think it's the last music video from the Now Power Now era, except for maybe like some collaborations that didn't make the actual album itself. Like, this is the last one for it. And like, I really love the song. I listen to the song very regularly at this point. And so I'm really just excited to get into the music video. This is obviously going to be a shorter reaction because it's just the music video. I've already listened to the song. And it's not like a very long music video, it's just like three minutes like the song itself. So let's just dive into it and really take it all in. Thank you for requesting this video in any way. Let's get into it. Okay, someone is riding on a horse. Oh, I hear a siren. This feels very fast. Okay, Pablo looking gorgeous. Ooh, product placement quick. Oh, they are dancing in the moonlight. Oh, it looked like there was some people that were not opposite gendered there at the party. Oh, another product placement. Oh, she looks great in that outfit. Kind of looks a little like Bang Bang aesthetics. Okay, we have some choreography. Let's go. Oh, we had a whip. I feel like the the frames just go by very quickly for me. Oh, she is being very close to NSFW there. Oh, is she arresting him? Ooh, torture chamber energy. That's a a laugh dance of sorts. Okay, wait, why are things on fire? Ooh, fire dancing? Let's go. This is a lot to take in. A lot of sensuality here. Ooh, that red outfit? I vibed. Oh, and then there's the cast. All right, let's go. Credits. Thank you for all making this possible. So that was the Sucreme music video, and that just whipped by. Like, whipped. Was I watching it too fast? I don't think I was. Like, I think there's just, like, a lot of frames and a lot going on, and I just could not focus on everything. Like, there was the lap dance <laughs> while he's, like, handcuffed to the chair. It's someone's vibe. <laughs> I can't say it's mine, but, like, you know, Pablo being all herself. Kid makes people think a certain way. Yeah. That part stuck out to me. The fire dancing, like dancing where the night is and there's a lot of fire lit up. I really enjoyed that as well. Like there was a choreography on the road. Like she's chasing him. They're dancing in the moonlight. I like also just that there was a lot of people that were dancing as couples and they weren't all like hetero couples or hetero presenting couples at least. And I really enjoyed that. Like, I love seeing that representation. I love that even at this early stage in Pablo Vitar's career, again, much like an in Indestructible, she's, like, using her platform to celebrate other people and, like, speak out about issues and stuff like that. Like, we also got that with the Intel Vi music video, like, where there's a bunch of different people who end up, like, kissing and, like, very LGBTQ plus friendly this is a very LGBTQ plus friendly music video. Like, I think Pablo looks stunning in all the looks that I can remember. There was a lot of looks. I like the one that's like the hood. It almost looks like, um, I want to say like a Mother Teresa, but it's probably a different figure that's much more tied to like Pablo Vitar and like Brazil and like her heritage in particular, rather than like a figure that's more known to me in particular. So I like that look. I really liked all the looks in it. I liked the, all the dancing in it. I want to look at all the dancing again because 
Oh, I just need to, in general, just watch this music video again. Because there was a lot. I feel like the frames were a little quick for my taste. I feel like I wish we had, like, a little more, like, time put on each thing rather than trying to get some very quick shots. Like, I guess it's supposed to feel like a high-speed chase, but it's also, like, I don't know what's going on. And I would like to know what's going on. There is, however, a ton of sensuality in this. This is maybe her, one of her most provocative music videos in terms of that, like, more risque, just considering that, like, she fully makes out with the guy at the end and, like, she's giving a lap dance. Like, there's a lot going on there. I think other than the MTV MIAW Awards, which, where she wore very little during the bang bang part i feel like this is one of her more i don't know scandalous music videos not that i care about that but like she was really doing something here she really just wanted to go all out and i guess she did two product placements to do that so i guess the people who like were sponsoring her did not care too much about that but yeah overall i enjoyed the music video i want to watch it again there's more stuff to glean. If you glean something that I didn't glean, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to be enlightened by all of y'all. What did you think of this song in particular? I know I've already talked about this song, but what did you think of that as well as the music video? I'd love to hear all of your thoughts and also what songs and music videos do you want me to react to next? If you like this video, please like it, just comment down below, check your actor, listen to you next, subscribe to my channel if you not already, and you'd like to be. And thanks for watching. This is Charles Stormer. Catch you later. It's storming turtles. From out of the sky, turtles, don't need to know why, smile big, open your eyes, it's storming turtles, it's storming turtles, from out of the sky, turtles, don't need to know why, smile big, open